Hi, this is Nate, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Rick and Morty by Spooky Pinball today. We're on location at Rec Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. Definitely check this game out at that location. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, very nice setup. Definitely unique uh, in the way that it's using a pop bumper for the left sling there, as you can see. And it's also got a countdown, kind of like two total nuclear annihilation. Very fast to the middle, three flipper set up. Obviously traditional front end of the game, which is two out lanes left, right, in lane left, right. You have a re-entry to the left pop bumper. You have your targets, which is best summer Jerry. You also have quite a bit of speed on this thing. Not only to the left, you have light adventure, uh, which is a ramp that goes around the back of the house. But the other thing is you also have, you also have a outer orbit and two mini orbits to the inside, which obviously from the third flipper, you have charge portal. You also have your scoop to the middle. And then of course, on the outside, you have another orbit going around the back, which is pretty cool. Shots are very tight on this game. I will say you're gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of missed shots from the center of this game, just because of how tight it is, which makes it a little bit of a moderate to higher difficulty based on trying to get your shots to, and Spooky's kind of known for that. Actually, most of their games, their shots are very tight together, uh, which adds to that difficulty level, which is not actually a bad thing. That's actually something that I look for. Well, this game is actually not really bad, actually. Uh, I mean, with the, with the mini orbits and the loopties is what I call them, uh, you got a lot of speed that comes out of those things. Art is actually really good, uh, believe it or not. I mean, you walk up to this game and you see it, online and you see it on different videos, but actually the artwork of the Translite, uh, the artwork of the actual cab is actually really good. Call outs on this game are there as well. Rick and Morty is obviously known for its obscene language and uh, it's, its rude and crude jokes. Uh, I've never necessarily watched Rick and Morty, but actually since Spooky said they were going to do a pinball machine on it for me to better understand Rick and Morty, I have been uh, videotaping it, and it's actually a really good show. It's actually pretty funny, and this machine makes you feel like you're actually in their world at this point. Our work of the play field is actually really good. Call outs are great, and as you saw, that ramp goes all the way around to your third flipper. Shots are, as I said, tight. Uh, the the scoop to the middle is it takes a little bit to get into it, but as you notice, you're getting you're getting some mode play starting up here. And as you can see from the middle of the table, you have your blue multipliers, you have your Morty Adventure card, so we've got four stamped right now on that, as well as your charge level. So of course you're trying to charge up and to fill your adventure card on this game to progress to the next mode and to the next level of the game. So there's Start Adventure. I actually see why Kaneda said that uh, we should play this game and uh, people should check it out. I mean, him buying it himself uh, I will say I'm actually pretty pleased with the gameplay so far. It is kind of blocky a little bit. It's not as smooth and it's not a flowy game like you would expect, but it has the potential to flow if you got the right shots going. Call outs are awesome. As you notice, the right ramp takes you down to your right in lane. Left ramp takes you to your third flipper to the right very specific. And I do like the fact that you have a capture ball to the top where it's lit up green, right next to the scoop. So you hit that, the ball goes around to the next area. So you're trying to hit those and, and flip it from one side to the next. One thing to notate on this game, and it's something, uh, you know, Besides the countdown that you have, which is kind of like total nuclear annihilation, is be very aware that that top bumper that is in this left sling area is actually 
a very high drain card for you. So if your ball is coming down on that thing or it's coming up off your flippers, that thing will pop it right back to you almost immediately and go right down the middle. Uh, but anyway, this game is very, very fun. It's definitely worth a look. Uh, we scored a nine out of 10. It is absolutely a play that you will not regret. So find it on location in Louisville. Uh, you can find it at Rec Bar. There's multiple other companies that are out there in arcades that carry this. So definitely check it out. Anyway, again, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off again until next time.